Hello everyone, <clears throat> I'm back with another uh, little modification video I want to do on my Joust. And uh, there it is, the Joust machine. And uh, one thing I didn't like about this is the joysticks are very clicky. And they feel really loose too, there's no, not hardly any spring tension on them. Um, they just don't feel right. And I was at a game show. Uh, like a game room show, pinball show, and they had a Williams uh, Multicade there, and I was playing it, and I loved the way everything fell on it. Of course, it was a real arcade machine, but um, the stick that that had in it was a Wicco uh, stick, and that is this here. This is a Wicco stick. This is an old one that I had laying around. You see there's leaf springs on the bottom. Those are called leaf springs. They're not the micro switches. Uh, or leaf, these are leaf switches, I said leaf springs. <laughs> um, leaf switches. And so uh, I believe they stopped making Wicco or Wicco went out of business. I don't know what the whole story is, but um, Arcade Shop is now selling the Wicco, I think these are Wicco clones, because nowhere on it doesn't say Wicco, but it's the same style. It has the leaf switches, and you can get them in the appropriate yellow for the side that you want. And uh, I only bought one, I just want to do like a test, I want to make sure it's going to work and feel the way I want it to feel. So uh, let's get started. First uh, we got to remove this control panel, just the four screws and it comes right off. So I have the control panel removed and if you look at this um, joystick, you can take off this gate here. There's just some clips, you take it off, then you can see what color wires goes to what micro switch. And make yourself a little drawing, like so. What color wires goes to what micro switch and which way the micro switch moves the uh, character on the screen. So for instance, like red is up in this situation. Okay, green is down and so on and so forth. Uh, once you get that um, made, made, then we can um, finish wiring this joystick. One other thing, just in case I don't like this new joystick, I want to be able to have this reversible. So I'm going to have to cut these wires, but I'm going to cut a little bit, like maybe like right there, so a little pigtail will be left on the uh, old joystick. And that way, if I don't like it, I can reconnect this all. Okay, so uh, I'm going to cut this off, and then I have to put on these little ends, and these will plug on to the new joystick. And I'll show you that when I get to that point. All right, got the old one off. You see how I left the little pieces of wire left? Um, here's the, the wires that I cut. Here's the new joystick. You have to take it apart. Um, to, to put it down. So I'm going to put this down, I'm going to center this over the hole exactly where I want it. Then I'm going to take a pencil, mark the holes, then I will have to um, drill this with a pilot drill bit, which is just a little bit smaller than the wood screw I'm going to be using. The wood screw I'm going to be using is these here. Um, let's see, number eight size, they're number eight size, and they're three quarters of an inch long. And they're wood screws, Phillips head. And uh, that's what I'm going to use to fasten these down. So mark the holes, drill bit, don't go through the control panel for crying out loud, and then screw it down. And I'll show you what it's like after I get it done. So I want to show you how to strip these wires since they're so small. Just get yourself one of these lighters, hold it on there for a second like that, and then just use your fingernail and pull it right off. Now you see it's stripped. Grab your end, put your end on, use your crimper, crimp it on. I guess you could use pliers if you don't have a crimper. But now would be a good time to go out and buy a crimper if you need it. And then once that's on there, then we'll, it's on there nice and tight. Then you just plug it onto whatever leaf switch that you need it. Remember your diagram that you made. So now my red ones that were for up, they were down here before on the old um, joystick. See the red ones were coming in down here, but for up, this is the up leaf switch here. So self-explanatory once you start getting into it. It's not difficult. All right, that's it. 
All right, it's all wired up. Just like that. Then I will put this ball on the controller top. And um, this is all fastened down now with the wood screws. And I'm gonna go try it out. All right, it's all back together. There's a difference between what the yellow one, the Wicco looks like, and the blue one is still click-o-matic. Um, here, the Wicco, see how it's nice and quiet? That's that leaf switch action. And uh, that's what a lot of the uh, you know old arcade games had. I don't know if this um, would be a worthwhile modification if you were real into the Mortal Kombat and stuff that was on this cabinet. Uh, I don't like that stuff. I like the classic games. So uh, for the classic games, this is absolutely beautiful. Um, let me start up a game here of bubbles. There we are. You have so much better control. Look how you can your bubble just you can stop your bubble. See how I stop it? See how I die? So I can come over by the drain. I can I can go real slow. I can stop. I have really good control now. Whereas with that that clicky stick, I did. There we go. So but look, I can just go over here, hang out. Man. I'm not making my point here. But if this is a game you like to play, you know exactly what I'm talking about. With, with how clicky that stick is, it's hard to control it. Ah. Alright, so it's a definitely worthwhile thing. I think you'll like it. I love it. For this game, I tried Defender. It worked nice on Defender. Uh, like I said, for Mortal Kombat, I, <clears throat> I don't know. It's not a game I ever play. So, uh, try it out. You might like it.